Hello my friends, this is B1 from Dead's of Gaming and right now I'm your guide for Dragon's Dogma. Currently in a cave, I'm going to show you how to kill ogres. Ogres are one of the, I'd say, mini bosses of the game. They are a bit quicker than Cyclopses, they do a bit more damage. Seems it leads outside. They absolutely love female characters. If you have a female character in your party, which unfortunately I have three, they'll go absolutely crazy, they will grab them, they will throw them about, they'll play with them. I'm not entirely sure why, but they, they seem to love female characters. So initially when you find ogres, you can you can hear them, they, they usually munch in, they usually snort a lot, such as this guy right in around this corner. So. As you, if we can edge round, you, yes, as you can see there is an ogre. They're very quick, they do a lot of punch attacks, punch kicks, drop kicks even. If you grab onto their back, they will do a back slam attack, which does a hell of a lot of damage. They're essentially quite, but they're essentially very quick and very, they can do quite a lot of damage. And especially if you're in an enclosed area, they can actually cause a lot of crowd has that they, they can just knock everybody out all over the place if they grab a feet they can actually have a grab attack if they grab a female character they will run away from them bite them and they will keep on biting them until you know that person is dead and then they'll throw them to the floor if they pick up a male character and chew on the male character they'll spit him they'll spit and then throw the male character away so obviously they they, they prefer the flesh of a woman to the flesh of a man if you are a male character if you wear a dress the funny part, if you have a whole party of male characters and you make your pawn wear a dress, the ogre will always come for you. Yes guys, the ogre will think your character is a woman and will try to charge after you, which is always quite funny. It proves that they've got some sort of intelligence, but they, they, they're also a bit dull. Now I am playing a new game, plus so I might kill this ogre quite quickly, but I'm hoping to showcase some of the abilities uh, that the ogre has and some of the attacks that you need to watch out for. So. Let's go and get his attention. Hello! As you can see they're very tall, very big, very ape like. Um, they. For some reason he's just standing here and not really doing much. It's a bit of a fail, to be honest, but. Come on, do something! So if you're lucky, your ogre will just do this. <laughs> See, staggering it helps. Okay, so now I think we've got him moving. So, as you can see, his attacks are very. He will swing a lot, he will punch, do a lot of punches. Showcase some of his abilities. So, as you can see, he starts smacking his hands together, he's getting really excited because he's fighting female characters and he likes female characters. So. One of uh, my sorcery, massive explosive attack and kill him. Which is always good fun, but not really good for the nice. video. So as I if I remember correctly, there's a few ogres place. So there's unspeakable meat. So uh, yeah, I'm kind of thinking part of a human or something. Uh, but you can pick that up and craft it, which I don't know what's worse, making... You know, using the bones of somebody who's just died to make some. But we will persevere, we'll push on through this cave and see. Not, usually in this one cave there is three. Okay, here is another. Let's showcase some of his abilities without our sorcerer doing too much damage. Their raw power makes them a threat! Again, do the excited happy dance. Slamming the floor. So as you can see, he's just uppercutted Hecate. Got a lot of knock. Basically, the most easiest way is to have really high strength knockback attacks. Fire helps, as you can see. It's actually catching fire to, it, to them. Does a little bit of extra damage. They're quite hairy. The easiest way to do it is just knock it down. Attacking its legs knocks it down. It can actually activate a defensive stance where it will curl up in a ball and hunch, like hunch its back. 
when it's in this state, attacks don't really do that much damage. Best thing to do is move out of the way. Sometimes he actually exits that, bit, that attack with an uppercut. Hello, spiders. But the best thing to do is to just keep on persevering, keep on pushing through. So we just killed that goblin. In this cave, there are a few goblins. A couple of bandits, too, if I remember correctly. But right now, let's, uh, let's fight this ogre. Sometimes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna see whenever they fight a woman they'll present that they'll do that dance, they'll do that excited happy thing. So he's just gonna slap clap on carrying knocked her down. There's a slam. Careful, to the ground. Obviously, if uh, you attack its head, it also sometimes holds its head in pain. Oh, this this, this is really cruel, to be honest, because we're so overpowered. <laughs> so, another thing you can pick up from these guys is Ogre Spurs. Unspeakable meat. Not entirely sure what other things. Uh, the beauty of this cave where you fight them in tons of ore deposits when you're fighting the ogres you're actually in a small confined space so if you're fighting the ogres for the first time I advise taking a step back and and basically just watching the tales of its attacks you need to do a monster hunter on them you need to take a step back kind of figure out the tales of tells uh, that they give before they do an attack and learn how to dodge those attacks so hopefully this guide has helped you. I apologise for kicking the ogre's arses so quickly. But I assure you when you fight them, especially if you fight them for the first time, it will not be that easy. They do have a lot of health. They do do a lot of damage. And the best thing to do, like I said, is to learn their attacks. Try and stay away from them. If you have a female in the party, always keep an eye on them because the ogre will snatch them and run away. Or if you want to dress up as a female character, that's always good fun as well. And basically just use fire attacks on it to set fire to it. Always attack its legs, try and knock it onto the floor. When it's knocked on the ground, attack its head. If you have a mage in the party or if you are a mage yourself, always aim at the f his, his face because that's the way, easiest way to knock him down if you are not using swords and other various weaponry. If you're using magic or bows, always aim for his head. That does more damage and also can cause knockback. When he curls up in a ball, stay back and just let him to it. Or if you have a fire spell, set fire to him whilst he's in that position. That is the only real thing you can do when he's like that. Because your normal attacks will just bounce off him. He essentially becomes a big shield. And then usually he exits that attack. The one attack that is always quite humorous but he's always dangerous, is the drop kick. Yes, guys, he will do a drop kick. What he will do is he'll run away from you, look at you, charge back at you, and then full force double boot you What's in the that? face, which is not fun. He does a hell of a lot of damage, and essentially, if, if, you, if there is a cliff or if there is a drop, he will kick you off that drop, and you can say goodbye to your pawn or you as you'll take falling damage as well. It's not fun and it also can knock you out of the battlefield meaning that you'll have to walk back uh, to get back to helping your pawns out which is not, all, not always fun is it guys. You just want to be in the battle, you want to fight, you want to take part in it and there's nothing worse than being knocked out of the battle by an enemy attack to just walk back and then got knocked, get knocked out again which tends to happen. But anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. I enjoyed making it. Hopefully you guys won't have that much trouble. My lantern's just gone out, so I'll have to refill my lantern. So, without further ado, this is B1. Signing out.